So I want to share a story that helped me and inshallah will help all of my sisters and brothers in the room today. And it actually comes from the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. It was at the time when the Muslim empire was just about ready to take over Jerusalem. And Umar radiallahu anhu was tasked with walking to Jerusalem himself in order to claim the keys of Jerusalem and open it as a Muslim empire. So he sets off with a servant and he makes this pact with his servant. He says, this is what we're going to do. He says, I'm going to sit on the camel and you're going to walk me for half the way. And in the other half, you're going to sit on the camel and I'm going to walk you. SubhanAllah just shows you how just he was as a leader. And along the way, you know, Umar ibn al-Khattab, as he started his journey, he was dressed nice, he looked crisp, he was going to get the keys of Jerusalem. And of course, along the way, he comes across mud and dirt. And as, he, as he's approaching the doors of Jerusalem, you can see visibly that his clothing is stained. It looks a little dirty, a little disheveled. And on top of that, as they're entering into the doors of Jerusalem, it's the servant's turn to sit on the camel, and Umar ibn al-Khattab is the one who is walking him. And so the servant turns to Umar ibn Khattab, he says, Ya Amir al muminin maybe we should switch. You know, these people are all ready to welcome you as their leader. It would make most sense if you were sitting and I walk you in. And Umar ibn Khattab says, no, I made a pact with you, we made a deal. He says, you're going to stay and I'm going to enter into this new, new city as their leader and I'm the one that's going to serve you, subhanAllah. Now interestingly enough, one of the Muslim generals named Abu Ubaidah ibn al-Jarrah, he sees Umar ibn al-Khattab starting to approach Jerusalem. He sees the way he looks. He looks a little disheveled. And he goes up to him, he says, Ya Amir al muminin He says, you've embarrassed us. You've humiliated us. He says, all of these people are dressed so nice. They're ready to welcome you. How are they going to honor you as their new leader when you look so disheveled? And Umar ibn al-Khattab says something. And if you remember nothing from this talk besides this statement, it is this. He says, نَحْنُ قَوْمٌ أَعَزَّنَ اللَّهُ بِالْإِسْلَامِ That we are a people who were honored by Allah through our Islam. It is not about wealth, it's not about looking beautiful, it's not about having power and having fame. Rather, it's Islam itself that brings us that honor. And so I carry this message myself and I share it with my brothers and sisters. Let's recognize this izzah, this honor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us and let that be the guiding principle within our life.